Alright guys, how you doing? This is Neil Gill with the r, &R Group, part of Remax Structure. Um, wasn't planning on doing a video today, so I'm kind of underdressed, but this information was important, so I had to get it out to you. Spoke to the lender, um, and we're doing some different things, and one of the things I wanted to talk about is this right here, departing residence. So this is kind of, if you want to call it, a loophole um, to start becoming an investor. It's something that you can do. Um, so I'm not sure if you know about it, but here is the breakdown. So basically, currently, let's say you're debt-free, you own a home, you're living in it, you want to purchase another one, but you want to turn the house that you're in right now into a rental property. There's a way to do that, which is departing residency. So the house you're in, all you need to do is to find a tenant, sign a lease, and have a copy of the deposit check. Once you have those three things, you're in a position to do this, okay? So what you do is, let's say your mortgage currently on the house you're in is $1,500, okay? Your new, oh, there's a, a missing zero here. Hold on, let's fill this in. There's no $200 rent in Denver, it's $2,000. Um, so your current mortgage is $1,500. You're gonna rent your house out for $2,000 that you currently live in. 75% of this $2,000 is allowed to show as income, meaning it's gonna wash out your mortgage. So you, your mortgage is 15, they're gonna pay you 2,000 in rent, 75% of it, which is $1,500, so that's gonna deduct your mortgage. So now basically, once you have that lease agreement signed and you have the deposit check, on paper to the mortgage company, you have no debt. If you're originally debt-free besides the mortgage, you don't show any debt against you. So now when you go to qualify for a new home, you will have full purchasing power. Okay, so this will equal debt free. Then you go in, you qualify for another conventional loan, 5% down, 3% down programs also out there. But let's just take the most common or, or the lowest portion of the conventional loan, which would be a 5% down. You can go get a 5% conventional loan, purchase another property, live in it for two years, and repeat this same cycle again. So you can always take a maximum of 75% of whatever the rent you're charging. So if the rent is three grand, the 75% is gonna go up, etc. If it if the rent is lower, the 75% is gonna be lower. Whatever that is, you can use it to deduct again whatever your current mortgage is. And you can repeat this. Most lenders is up to five times. Um, the lender that I work with, they will probably allow you to do this up to 10 times. So this is a huge, huge benefit if you want to start doing investment properties. So quick tip for today, it's cold outside, it's snowing in Colorado, we're in the office, we're still working, still helping our clients. Delroy with the r, &R Group, see you again next time.